Welcome to Game Does Play Games, where we are playing the Aquatic Adventure of the Last Human, and we're just uh, in media res here, starting with the uh, fight against the Tranquil, which is a giant octopus. I feel like that was a very, very esports kind of opening. Bam. Esports. I guess you do sort of do like... You know that's like a, a joke, right? Like What? Well, it's like when you do something like awesome in a game, or actually, it's it, it's better used when RNG is a great factor in the game, and like you sarcastically go esports because you're you're like I'm so awesome that RNG's with me esports. Is that really a thing? That's the thing. I've never heard that joke oh, yeah. before. It's um, I mean, I guess it's because I watch a lot of Hearthstone streaming, but uh, I mean, that would definitely be the place to see that. Yeah. Oh, oh. oh, they pop into. Oh. It's just it's beautiful. It's I really like too that they kind of throw us off to the side too, um, which is obviously oh that's right I can't aim up. No, you can't. But at least that is a safe zone. It's, it's mostly it's, a safe zone. Well, no, it's totally look. The rocks can't get to you because it's an oh because you are terrible. Mm, I miss having my smooth. You know, I got real used to the upgrades. I'm just gonna put that out there. You get That's better okay. movement speed, you get dashes, you can... You would think that uh, your farther. whole life you would have just got used to sucking. Oh. Oh. So what happens if you saw them when you're, you haven't shot them? You just get damaged. Do you do any damage to it? Nope. In return? Unfortunately, no. Um, which, I mean, I guess kind of makes sense because the saw isn't really that long you know, to begin with. if you cut that tip off, you can get to the corner really easy. Because that tip's the only thing that that would threaten you, or you could just do that and just shkaboop. Just the tip, though. Just the tip. <laughs> just the tip. <laughs> Are you at least gonna pay for the dinner? Just the tip. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Also, I I don't know why we didn't mention this in the last episode, but uh, this is the point where the demo ended for the Kickstarter demo. Oh, did you at least fight it? No, you didn't. You saw oh. him, and then you were like, all right. Well, that's because everybody loves octop... octop uh, actually, octopi is technically not the correct term. What, what did I I think learn? it's just octopus, isn't it? I, I think it was, like, some weird Latin term that just, like, it was weird. All I'm saying is, is technically weird. octopi is not the correct term. All I'm saying is that boom, no you could get so a lot of sushi out of these tentacles. You totes good. Uh, I'd be all about that. Man, and with the quickie jerk motions all of a sudden. All right, we're gonna play this one a little bit safer because I'm tired of dying. Whatever. I'm oh, sure. I'm it's sure because you've been whenever he haven't just sucked it up. Oh. Whenever he flails, he extends farther than I keep mm. thinking that his tentacles should reach because it actually you can even see. Oh, it, right there. Yeah. It pulls the joints, um, so he's actually like he physically stretching his limbs larger than they would be able to go. Um, and that's why it throws me off. He's stretching. Get that. Get that. Just get that yeah. limb. It's causing you so many... Right there. Get under it. Yeah. No. Yeah. Mm. You mean the bottom, bottom one? Right there. Right there. No, no, no. Or you're saying cut that one. The second highest right there. Like, third third section. Get it. Get it. Oh, 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 Don't get hit oh. by rocks or tentacles. Get it. Get... Oh, no, no, no. Now your time's up. Uh. Uh. And shkaboom. Uh. All right. All right. Now, cool. Uh, coffee break. <laughs> oh god. Uh, Dude, seriously. It's so hard to see your character when it gets this, this small. This is actually really fair. The blinking does not help because... <laughs> uh, Alright, maybe I should switch to keyboard and mouse. Or you want to try it? Okay. I'll, I'll give it a try. I'm not... Okay, so how do you switch? Um, It's these top triggers, or you can hit Y. Top? Oh, the bump bumpers? Yeah, you can see it at the top when it switches. R1, if you will. I don't think that switched anything. Maybe it's L or yeah, maybe I sw uh, wait. Yeah. Oh, okay, there it goes. Yeah, I, I guess maybe part of this whole playthrough can be sort of a commentary on the Steam controller too, because I mean, obviously this game was designed to accommodate both gamepad and keyboard and mouse, um, but I think it does play a lot smoother with the mouse, simply because you have a little bit more, a better perspective of where you're aiming. I think. Um, the only thing that I think is not as good with keyboard and mouse is that using the keyboard to actually move around feels kind of uh, rigid, you know, mm. because you don't have a, a joystick. And that's why I wanted to try this with the gamepad, to 
begin with. Um, but the touchpad on the Steam controller is still kind of weird. It's really hard to get it um, precisely where you want to be aiming. So it's not as good as a mouse. Not yet, anyway. I know you can configure the, the Steam pad, but... Oh, son of a bitch, you chased me. <laughs> All I'm saying is that if you die, I'll feel a little bit better. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> also, I love that his... Do I have to press... Jeez, oh. what's with you? Okay, I don't ha I learned something. I don't have to press it. Oh, no, it you just, just you just, just bump into it, yeah. If you... I know we have the volume down pretty low on our end, but uh, when you have the saw out, you just hear a perpetual, like, <laughs> kind of like a motor sound. <laughs> it's kind of fun. Boom. Nice! Like it was nothing. Oh, what I was going to say, though, is I like that the, uh, the little, like, suction pods on the tentacles are, like, constantly, I don't know what to say, like, vibrating. <laughs> Whoa, man! Boom! Esports, right there. <laughs> Esports. Yeah. Dude, really? Really, bro? I wonder if you uh, don't totally destroy the tentacles and you get to the stage two of this guy, if those broken tentacles, or the, the ones that you didn't destroy, if they just, like, kind of fall back. Oh. I, I guess a good way of knowing is uh, just by doing. Yeah, I mean, cause there's already. Um, mm, gotta cut this real quick. Okay, I'm running away now. There's already uh, like little bits left behind, so I feel like those would just be gone. Yeah, right. I I or feel like they would stick around as well as is what I'm trying to say. I feel like too, it it might not be good to penalize the player for not destroying all of the tentacles. Um, Simply because, like, it's probably more... It, it is more difficult to try to attack his, his weak point while the tentacles are still there. So if it you really are is. able to do it, um, you know, why penalize the player by keeping the tentacles present? Okay, yeah, it does look like they, they flip. Oh, oh. Because some of those little pieces are still there, but they're in the, the background now. So that's good. I think that's good. So basically what I'm going to do is just pop off some shots here and uh, try to just wait for the weak points to happen. That's not a bad idea. Getting to them, though, is the hard part. Yes, and that I don't have a plan for yet. All right, oh, cool. so one one is, is getting there. Oh, you totally can get that. First, I'm going to cut this bottom one. It'll make my life safer. That's fair. Like, even if I get the, the tip, just the tip. <laughs> so what do you think about this boss ah, design where? in general? Well, the, the main issue I'm having is I totally agree in that it becomes very hard to... Oh, you son of a... <laughs> See right. what I mean? See what I mean, though? Like, especially with you being so small and so slow, it's that's, really that's easy issue. to get hit. And once you start bouncing around... Did it break through both of those? I think it... Whoa, jeez. But yeah, once you start getting bounced around, it like it really becomes hard to, to save yourself. Um, so it becomes a, a game of precision, very much so. And that's why I think that some of the upgrades, like increasing your speed is super, super important in this game because like I'm having a hard time because I got used to being faster and having a dodge. Mm -hmm. um, and that's absolutely essential to beat the game. Like you could probably beat it if you're just a very skilled player. Uh. Ah, damn. Why? Um, but I think for the average player, like, finding the upgrades is a critical part of the game. Like, if you don't do it, you're not going to be able to win. Um, and I think that's okay, too, because mm -hmm. it, it justifies your exploration. I, I mean, not that it needed that much justification because you're getting an upgrade, right? So you probably just want that anyway. Um, but yeah, I mean, I don't know. How do you feel about that? Well, do you think they should need the upgrades oh. in order to advance? You could break that one right there. There's... Ooh, boy. Yeah. Um, there you go. But it hurts you at the same time, because I got hit Does by it? the... I, I just got hurt. Hmm. But it was because I got hit by, like, a different section of it. Oh, okay. That makes sense. 
Um, ooh. So, I guess for, at least upgrade-wise, because um, the way I look at it, when I look at any game, I look at uh, basically necessary upgrades versus, um, versus like, oh, Jesus. Just out of nowhere, man. <laughs> versus, like, I wouldn't say cosmetic, but mechanical upgrades were out of time, so you know. Well, but, it's... Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll you can at least... start on this guy. But, uh, yeah, it's... There's, there, I guess there's like three different types of changes you could really do, or at least that's one way I, you could look at it, is um, that there's the necessary upgrades. So for instance, the saw, uh, then there's the um, the like power upgrades, which would be more speed and, and better health. <clears throat> and uh, and then finally there's just cosmetic, which don't actually do anything. They just like, you know, appearance wise. And I, obviously I haven't seen any cosmetic ones for this game. I don't think there are. Um, um, I don't see why you would or, or anything like that, yeah. especially because it's hard to <clears throat> see. Anyway. Yeah, for a game like this, I think that would be kind of uh, arbitrary. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, I really do feel like uh, that that the mandatory ones, like the saw and everything, like you, you need you need them, um, and so there's no question about that. That's part of being of Metroidvania is getting more powerful. Um, because you have a previous like ability that you oh, oh you're about to oh, die. Jesus. you're about to die okay uh, having a previous ability that you didn't have before ah oh, rocks rocks fall everyone dies they do oh. and eyeball oh, oh. he's so pale thingy. now Ugh. um so for for those other things like the power upgrades personally I don't usually I don't care because I find that those are there just um, they're there so you can make more mistakes you're allowed to make more mistakes yeah absolutely um, so like speed you're able to get out of the way faster or you're able to get into positions that you normally couldn't have before um, and then health I think is like always like my least favorite upgrade in any game because I fair. health is just a way of saying I get away with making more mistakes than I could <laughs> before and yeah which actually removes like the need for skill Precisely. Oh no! Ah, ah. So there you go. And um, well, let's let's try one more time. One more time. I think so. I think part of the flaw in with our approach with fighting this guy is that we keep going off to the the left side. But I think really we need to utilize the benefit of being able to shoot mostly downward. Um, and I think the design yeah, of the boss kind of follows that style of design too, because oh. it. It's built with that in mind, where it expects you to kind of like the, the approach. The locations are also easier to hit. Yes. So on top of that, you're able to aim better. Yeah. No, you're you're absolutely right. And Which you're in have retrospect, fun I feel because I was just talking away from the mic. Oh yeah, it's, you used the sensitive mic to do that too, so no one might have heard you. But either way, <laughs> um, yeah, I, I agree. In retrospect, it was kind of silly that we didn't go from the. Uh, because really, why wouldn't we? Oh boy. Um, yeah. So I mean, I could, I could literally like, we could do a whole video or eight. Sorry, man, about me talking about <sighs> upgrades and my opinions on them. But we don't have that time. We don't even have time to beat this guy in this video. Sad day. Sorry. <laughs> so. Uh. So question of the day: What do you guys think about? sort of requiring upgrades in order to like really be able to survive the game um and and i don't mean like the saw or the harpoon or the any mandatory of that stuff. ones yeah those those ones are they come with fighting the bosses um but like getting speed upgrades or getting um like health upgrades and any of that stuff really like you you do need it in order to beat the game wow that's cool so, so I guess, what are your opinions on this? Should it should it be necessary, or should the game just kind of follow a standard difficulty curve, um, and just kind of go hand in hand with player skill? Yeah. Cool. That's a good question. Well, we will start the next episode with the end of this guy, so you don't have to sit through multiple episodes of us fighting him. But. Ew. <laughs> Jeez. Until then, uh, here we go. We will uh, see you next time.